another video of mine. Today I'm going to show you my coat collection, my winter coat collection. I do have a very big collection of jackets and blazers, but in the past two years I really fell in love with big coats and I'm not talking about the big fluffy one that you go for you know, skiing or snowboarding or something that you actually need to need to keep you very, very warm. Like in a very cold countries as Russia and North America and some parts of Europe. I do think that coats is a great way to show off your style. Even though in winter time, we don't get to show off our style very often. Like sometimes it's really cold that you can't even wear pantyhose or leggings and you just need to wear a big sweater and keep yourself warm. And a colorful coat is a great solution for that. Also, what I do like about colorful coats is that even if you go with plain white t-shirt and some pair of jeans and sneakers, you can still rock the town. So let's start with my favorite coats. Most of my coats are long in their shape and I do love oversized coats. I always think that when I'm wearing an oversized coat, it's very fluffy, it's like wearing a blanket and you feel extra tiny inside, you know. Now, this pink coat is actually brand new. I just purchased it from Mango. I love Mango coats because I do have lots of coats from Mango, usually the fluffy ones, because I think that they do keep it very trendy, but still the coats are more on the quality side than the other stores. Now, this one is actually in the size medium. I'm usually size small or 36 or yeah, and usually with these kind of coats that they are structured in the shoulders you do need to take your own size because once the paddings go out of the shoulder line it does look big on you but with this one i think i got away with it i'm obsessed with the color i think that the color is absolutely beautiful and it will match everything. This coat is from the recent trend, the teddy bear trend. You can see it all over Instagram, you can see it in every online store, the teddy bear coat. I'm in, I'm into this trend. I think that this trend is so cute, so fluffy. You know, I've been using this coat, it's actually from Zaful, it was very, very cheap. I'll leave links to everything that I can find below. If I can't find any of these specific coats, I will leave something similar. Now, I've been wearing this coat in every outfit that I can imagine. I think that the most suitable outfit, many girls ask themselves how to wear a teddy bear coat. It's like, it's a teddy bear coat. Now, I do think that the best outfit for the teddy bear coat would be like jeans and plain t-shirt, plain sweater, something very, very subtle because this coat will catch a lot of attention and I love the color. As for being very warm, it's not, okay? It's one of the coats that it's suitable for like 18 Celsius degrees. Israel is a very warm country, so our winter, like the max is maybe 13 degrees. So I won't recommend this coat for someone who lives below 13 degrees Celsius. Yeah, but it is cute, it is chic, it is cheap, and if you're on a budget, it's a great piece for you. Here is a great example of an oversized coat that is supposed to be oversized, but it's in my size. This coat is also from Mango. I am loving, I'm living for the color. Like, how can you not be happy wearing this color? I think that every girl should own at least one bright coat in her wardrobe, just because every time, again, and I'm repeating myself, when I'm feeling a bit sad, a bit like mm, grayish, gray outside, gray inside, I just gonna wear a bright coat and you just have fun, you know? This coat is beautiful. What I don't like about the coat is that, have a look. At the back, I suppose to open these ones so it will look like flowy and I don't like it. I love that the coats, that the oversized coats are big and also covering the booty. 
this coat is the best no everything here is the best but this one is the the real deal you know now i know that this winter it's all about the animal print leopard print tiger print snake print croc print any animal that you can think of is on our clothes <laughs> But with this one, because the leopard is actually gray and blue leopard, I don't think it will get out of style. Again, it's from the same wool material, very, very warm coat. I can wear it only with a t-shirt. If it's extra cold, I'm gonna wear it with a sweater or just like a thin knitwear and I love it. Again, it's not that of an oversized coat but because it is in my size, but I think that the colors can go with anything. I also paired this one with a red handbag. You can go with, I always say that gray is the color that you can match anything to. Now, this is what I call Teddy Coat, the pimp version. <laughs> This coat I actually saw on a girl on Instagram and I was like, where did you get it? Because it's not the normal teddy coat. I'll show you the to the fabric. It's like a like a very thin fur. By the way, guys, you won't find any fur in my collection. This coat is divine. I saw it on the girl, I saw that she tagged H&M, I searched like 10 stores of H&M here in Israel and I couldn't find it and one day I was in a shopping center and I went to H&M and I just spotted the coat and I was like okay give it to me so this coat is so warm you guys if I said that Mango can create really nice, stylish and warm coats, H&M also know how to do that and I love this coat. I wore it to Jerusalem. Now Jerusalem is a part of Israel much colder than any other Israel part. Like maybe the top north side is the coldest, but Jerusalem is very cold because like on a mountain. Kept me very warm. Now this coat gives me the story behind this coat. Well, when I used to live in Australia back in 2011, I came to Melbourne and I was sure that Australia is just like the TV show Home and Away. Like everybody surfers, it's very warm, nice weather. And when I came to Melbourne, Oh no, <laughs> it is not warm in Melbourne. I met some friends and they told me that in Melbourne you have four seasons in a day. It can be cold, it can be warm, it can be extra cold, it can be windy. It's not nice, okay? So a friend told me, listen, if the cold won't kill you, the wind will kill you. <laughs> and I needed to get a really nice coat that it will also be nice for going out, you know? Because you can wear the fluffy ones, like a big blanket on you and it will keep you warm. But if you want to go out, I do think that the coat should match your outfit in some point. Long story short, I went to a store that I was in love with their items. I don't know if the store still exists. If you're from Australia, let me know. Forever new. Now, Forever New is like, it's this. If they would shoot their catalog, they would do it here. Like, this is the vibe, very like Blair Waldorf, very cute and elegant and feminine and soft fabrics. And I saw this coat. I didn't have a lot of money and, and this coat back in the days was, I think, $200. Couldn't afford it, so I waited. I had a coat, don't worry. <laughs> I had something to keep me warm. But I used to go out with them, I believe. I saved up some money, I went to the store, I bought this one, I was so excited to get it. And you know, from seven, eight years ago until now, I donated a lot of clothes. I sent a lot of Forever New clothes, which I used to love, but this one I refuse to get rid of because it gives me such a great memories. I wore this coat for such an amazing experiences and I don't think that I will ever get rid of this one. <laughs> this coat, this, it's actually a jacket, it's the only jacket that I will show in this collection. It's also from Australia, from a store named Glassons. If it still exists, please let me know. 
So I've been wanting the Burberry trench coat for ages. I still want it. I still think that it's so expensive. One day I will invest the money in a Burberry trench coat, but until then I have glasses. And this one was actually such a deal. I got it in like, I don't know, 70% off. I used to go to the outlet stores and I used to buy on sale. Like I knew how to handle with my money. <laughs> I still do. This coat is also one of my recent purchases for this winter. I got it from ASOS and one day I was just scrolling through Instagram. I get a lot of inspo out of Instagram and I saw red coats everywhere. And I said, okay, I gotta have one, but I had a very specific one that I wanted. I wanted a big coat, oversized, that there won't be any padding in the shoulders. I just wanted a big red coat. And I went on ASOS and I quickly found the one. I do think it's still in stock. If it's in stock, I will leave a link down below. And I'm telling you guys, this was a saving for such great looks didn't have any energy to put on a great outfit throw on a red coat a red coat is so underrated people don't think about red coats and they should red coats are the best i'm gonna move on to three of my favorite short coats and i'm gonna start with this one it's a faux fur everything is a faux fur and this one i got from naked so naked is a i think swedish or any scandinavian uh, online store i got it i think last year no i got it two years ago but i will try and find a dupe for you guys and i love these type of coats i think they're so cute they make you feel very luxurious and extra. Like you know the days that you want to feel like you're in Vegas, like you're some kind of rich beach chic and you just need to throw on yourself faux fur coat and you'll get it. This one has a baby pink color and I do find it very useful. I wear it again anytime I want to feel that vibe. I don't think that wearing this like this can work like I've tried it didn't work for me but I will show you the next one that you can match it again with some denim sneakers and white t-shirt this is the one now this one is again faux fur but this one will be a great match for some denim sneakers and whatever it can go casual and it can also go for evening time. I find that the difference between this one and this one is that the pink one is a lot more structured and like too serious. Yeah. And with this one you just need to have some fun. Now last but not least is this cute coat from H&M. I got it in London last year. It's from that, not a faux fur, but it's like a fluffy material, fluffy vibe. And it does give you that luxury look and still casual one. So this one, again, if I don't want to wear a long coat, if I'm wearing like a dress that short coat will be a better voice, I'd go for this one. It's super warm, it's super cute, and it does give you the vibe of Fluffiness. <laughs> and that's it my loves hope you enjoyed this video and you find it very useful i hope i gave you some nice ideas for cute winter coats to invest for this season i will leave the links that are still active for some of the codes down below and if i won't find the same i will search for some dupes so check out the description box if you enjoy my content please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it will mean the world to me and that's it don't forget to follow me on instagram and i'll see you in the next video bye